So this is the home page right now. So if you were a refugee, you would go up to the search bar and you could type in a location. UkraineTakeShelter.com is an independent platform that was built by me and my friend Avi Schiffman to help connect Ukrainian refugees fleeing from that crisis with potential host families who can help them. We've had over 18,000 hosts sign up to offer assistance to refugees and refugees can log on and put in their location to do a search and find hosts that match with them. We've heard all sorts of amazing stories of hosts and refugees getting connected all over the world. We decided to build Ukraine Take Shelter because we had been seeing a lot of videos and photos online of the situation that was happening in Ukraine, and we decided this was a way that we could help. Even though me and Avi live on opposite sides of the country, and of course we're on the other side of the world uh, from Ukraine, we decided that because of technology and, and through the internet, we would be able to, to lend a helping hand. We have hosts in almost any country you can imagine, from Hungary and Romania and Poland to Canada to Australia, and we've been really blown away by the response. We're incredibly grateful for all of the hosts who have helped out. So I originally came up with this idea when I was at a protest in San Diego a few weeks ago. Um, there were a bunch of people there. They were all holding up signs saying like, stop Putin. Um, there were a bunch of Ukrainian people speaking. It was a great protest for the few hundred people in San Diego. But I knew that I have this big public platform after developing one of the first coronavirus tracking websites. So I'm kind of known as like an internet activist in that way. And then I have um, the skills to make websites and apps and all those kinds of things with technology. So I felt that I could really do something on a more global scale here rather than just for the few hundred people in San Diego. Ukraine Takes Shelter puts the power back into the hands of the refugee, where they're able to take the initiative and find the listings and get in contact with hosts by themselves, um, instead of having to freeze on a curb in Eastern Europe in the winter time, waiting for some other organization to match them uh, for them. Basically, we follow the uh, the news quite close. Uh, what's what's going on in uh, in Ukraine? And uh, me and my wife discussed it a little bit, and yeah, wanted to help the way we can. Um, so first, we signed up at uh, the embassy, um, and then by chance, so, uh, we found this Ukraine Tech Shelter, and we signed up and. Basically, the, the next morning, uh, I had a message from Oksana, um, uh, asked if we had a place for them, for her daughter and their cat. I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised, surprised uh, that uh, quickly Richard uh, answered to me. maybe five days from the first message to uh, the arriving. Our goals when creating this website were to make it as intuitive and secure as possible. First, on the ease of use side of things, we make sure that refugees can immediately type in a location and start seeing results. Because if they are fleeing from danger or they're in an emergency situation, we want to make that as efficient as possible. For our hosts, we provide a lot of opportunities for them to add details to their listings, labels like what languages they speak, to help them find the best match.
Second, on the security side, we know that this is potentially a dangerous situation. So we have a lot of steps in place to ensure the protection of our refugees. We have a detailed guide that we give to all refugees to help them verify the host that they're talking to, make sure that the person that they're maybe speaking with on the phone is the same one that they're meeting up with in person. We have a detailed reporting system as well where we can remove inappropriate listings. We're working with aid organizations to get verified listings onto the platform as well. And we have anti-scraping mechanisms to prevent any bad actors from trying to misuse the website. I was quite surprised, to be honest. Um, um, it became realities quite fast. Uh, it's one thing to sign up uh, for something on a web page, um, but then, uh, yeah, really going through with it. And yeah, it was uh, not surprising, but yeah, I'm happy that we made the decision. Avi and I started working on Ukraine Take Shelter one Monday morning, and I think from that point on we basically didn't sleep for about three days to get the website up and running. And since then the response has been absolutely incredible. We currently have over 18,000 hosts registered. We've had volunteers from all over the world help us with translations, with user experience testing, with cybersecurity. We've really been incredibly grateful for the response. Of course, it's a little bit nervous. Um, it's the first time uh, we are doing something like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, a little bit nervous, not more than that. They're very nice people. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's going along well. Bye.